guys! Welcome to my vlog. Um, today, I'm gonna meet with some of my friends from Beda. But, oh, whoa, look at that. What's that? Jane, where are you? Oh, wait, here are my friends. Hi! So, like, here's Lyra. Hi! Here's Leigh. Here's Tash. And here's Juliana. So, like, I saw this really weird scene today. The Filipino was getting treated worse than the foreigner. What do you guys think of that? It's an odd scene. How dare she mistreat her fellow Filipinos and treat foreigners better? Exactly. I suddenly remember the story that we have discussed back in high school. Ooh. Uh, what was that title again? Is that the same story where the main character is about the American Filipino? The same lady struggles to integrate herself in her mother's homeland? Well, I think you can still remember how the story goes. Wait, I think you have to go home. I have to meet my mother. Oh. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Me too. Bye! Bye. 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 Let's just continue this at home, yeah? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Bye. 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 So like, uh, we're continuing this back at home with a video call. So stay tuned for that. Um, hey guys. So welcome back to the vlog. Um, considering my friends left early, uh, earlier, so, uh, we just decided to uh, video chat, I guess. So hey guys. Um, the story was about a Filipina, yeah? A Filipina? She's a Fila from California. And she was like comparing her time in the Philippines to her time in California. Yes, it's funny how her skin color there was made to look like a Mexican or a Cuban. Well, in fact, she's just a normal white girl. A mestiza. I mean, we do honestly look like Mexicans. The only thing separating us is the accent. Really, is that it? I mean, if we go levels deeper, it's actually pretty sad. She gets questioned in America if she's Mexican or not, and here she just, just generalizes an American. Even if there are around 50 states in America, and each of them have their own culture. I mean, if we go levels deeper, it's actually pretty sad. She gets questioned in America if she's Mexican or not, and here she just, just generalizes an American. Even if there are around 50 states in America, and each of them have their own culture. Well, doesn't change the fact that we're kind of racist. I mean, the short story was made by a Filipino. Kinda. I mean, after we got colonized by them, we have been treating them like kings and queens. Even skin color means something now. There was this one time I saw in a restaurant. There was a foreigner's table and the family in ragged clothes. I guess you know how the story goes. The rep family was first, but they were served last. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we treat them too much like kings and queens. We forget our own countrymen is also important. I guess our economy is just that low. <laughs> I mean, it can't even compare to the USA at this point. And we're still treating them like kings and queens. I guess that's why. Funny how people would go another mile for foreigners and not for our own countrymen. Ghost is all just a facade. Yeah, um, here in the ending especially, like, the poli police probably thought he'd get a tip if he helped her. Uh, <laughs> luckily she didn't uh, accept her help, I mean his help. Uh, she probably knew the consequences. What a gal. The sense of privilege that the foreigners, especially the whites, experience here in our country is because of benevolent assimilation. And when you say benevolent assimilation, this is the respect and affection that Americans offered us way back when they colonized our country. But it's sad that this thing called white love still exists until this very day. I'm very privileging. Although, it's alright to give foreigners the privilege that they, in the first place, already have. But wouldn't it be better if we treat people of the country the same privilege that these foreigners are treated with? Um, would he even realize that this gesture can either make the person feel good 
or make him feel that he is one privileged man just because of race represented by his skin. I mean, come on, that's just racist. Yeah, so uh, this story really reflects the post-colonialism uh, theory of literature which states that uh, after a certain country gets colonized, um, they tend to like it more. <laughs> I mean, just look at the Philippines. We got colonized by the Americans and they uh, upgraded our economy. But then, <laughs> yeah, nothing really happened. I mean, we really just went over the top of praising them and Giving, giving, even giving them the stigma of being rich just by being American. Uh, little did they know that every country has its, uh, its hardships. Every country has its own difficulties. And every country has its own flaws. It just so happened that uh, they treated, the Americans treated us kindly. The, po uh, the short essay, The Invisible Umbrella. Like, I mean, it's a post-colonialist uh, way of looking at uh, the certain situation we have right now. It's Phil Am, uh, the main girl is Phil Am, and she was shocked by what she saw. And yeah, eventually she learned how to cope with uh, the stigma. And not only cope, she actually uh, is against it. Not because uh, she hates it or anything. It's, it's just because it's wrong. It's wrong to uh, generalize a person. It's wrong to uh, it's wrong to stereotype a person just because of their color. Basically, racism. So yeah, that's my reflection. How about the others? I I think they have the uh, they have theories. I mean, re reflections as well. Let's eat them. You know what? I've just realized that the world is so unfair. Like the privileged ones has more chance to be much more privileged. You know what I mean? It's like. They always get what they want, what they need, and like the unprivileged ones, because the people um, are always prioritizing them than the unprivileged ones. The story under the invisible umbrella is a tutorial because it is somehow connected to the life of the other. The stories or life experiences here in the Philippines, like you know, Filipinos think that being a foreigner or Filipino like makes you higher than them, so that makes you a VIP just because you have a beautiful skin, you have a handsome face, tall, you have a beautiful eyes, and that's what makes you unapproachable, and that makes you alienated from us. And also, Filipinos have a mindset that if you are a foreigner, you're rich, you have a lot of money just because you're from another country. And some of us might abuse it or might overtax on you. That's all. Thank you. Since we are under the power of Americans, Spaniards, and Japanese, our way of thinking was somehow affected. We Filipinos tend to keep them dry and safe just because they look like someone with authority. However, in this essay, the author wanted to, to be treated just like a normal Filipino. She was said to be a daughter of Filipina and an Italian American. Her mother doesn't want her and her brothers to learn Tagalog with her fear of having their father feel excluded. Even so, she tried her best to cope with this country.